Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you are all doing well. Hello everybody in the chat. Welcome, welcome. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Please do join in on the chat every evening or every day when I upload. Join the family. All right, you guys, this is a channel strictly for Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I also do personal readings and there's a link in the description box below this video if you would like to purchase or book a personal reading with me. All right, you guys, let us see what is going on in your love lives. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, wow. That, that is so weird. This Knight of Swords, I'm not even kidding. When I was meditating on the cards prior to starting your reading, this card was shooting out at me like it was crazy. The Knight of Swords, totally a fast talker. Someone who comes in and says a whole lot of stuff about making a lifestyle change, wanting to do things differently, what have you, but they're more of a, a talker than a doer. And I was meditating on that card and I was thinking about it, like who... Who is who is this person that says a whole lot of nothing? They say things, but then their follow through is not there. Not there. They're, they're kind of like their ideas and their plans and the things they want. They just, yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And let's do this and let's do that. And then, but they don't follow up with anything. They don't follow through. So I kind of feel like, I don't know, this is coming out as perhaps the person that you're connecting with. Okay, here's Piscean energy. So the hanged man, six of cups. Mm. You guys, there is definitely somebody coming back from the past here who has got a whole lot to say to you. I'm seeing things differently. I have a new perspective. Um, you know, I, I know that uh, even though the situation is precarious and we're stuck right now and we can't do something or we can't move forward, or we can't go in a particular direction, I still want to move forward with you and I've got all these new ideas and these plans. Okay, so you do have that happening here with somebody that, you know, from the past. But we'll go more into the reading and see what's going on here. Okay. See, it's death cards, scorpionic energy, nine of wands, page of wands, three of cups, queen of wands, and the nine of cups. Okay, bottom of the deck, the world, change. There's change happening here. Um, Virgo. Some of you have like learned a lesson and you're moving on, um, but there is something here about travel as well. Some of you are moving away or traveling or you're getting away from a relationship you don't want to be in any longer. Okay, got the King of Swords showing up here with the Knight of Cups. So air energy coming in. Somebody's not letting you go. You might be deciding that you're gonna go or you wanna leave or you don't wanna be in something anymore. This person's like, nope. <laughs> nope. This person's like, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna have to propose to keep you here or do something that's like romance you, this person's coming in with a lot of charisma. Air like an air sign. And you know, how it feels to me like a lot of you as this person comes in. In this energy, you know, I'm not going to let you go. I love you. I'm going to hold on. Air energy, okay? Really coming out with the truth. You're like, look at you. You're like, oh, yeah? Watch my ass shake as I walk out the door. Watch it shake. Boom, boom, boom. You had your chance. My ass is shaking. Watch it wiggle because it's going in the other direction. <laughs> I killed myself. Okay. Let me see. I want to see what you are. 
Virgo. What you doing, Virgo? What you doing over there? All right, let's see what your love messages are. This person wants to marry you. And Virgo's like, see my butt? I'm walking out the door. I'll take, you know, you're watching. You're looking back at them watching you walk out the door. Getting to know each other. Calling in your soulmate. Okay. Again, you're getting a phone call. Somebody's calling you. All right, let's see. Let's go in deeper and see what's going on with this person, right? So they're a fast talker. Jive talker. Doing me well. Mm -hmm. Jive talking. Jive turkey. That's what this person is. They're like a like a jive turkey. They're coming in and they're like telling you all this stuff and you know, I'm, I'm going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to be together. You know, uh, I'm going to marry you. Let's get back together. I know what you need. I know what you want. I'm coming in. I want to, I want to be with you. I want to marry you. That proposal. The situation involves marriage. If you were divorced, coming in with that marriage thing, definitely. Um, if you weren't divorced, if you weren't married, or you weren't connected, they're coming in quick. Oh my gosh. All right. For some of you, they're giving me a date here. You take that however you want. For some of you, it's gonna, you're getting a proposal on December 6th. Somebody's coming in. December 6th. Or you're dealing with someone whose birthday is December 6th. Um, somebody also, I'm hearing September 13th. And I'm hearing March 9th. And oh, okay, they also, oh yeah, also. Well, this, they said it's either March 9th or it's September 3rd. Okay, I don't know whose dates and what that's about, but this person's coming in and bringing like, I mean, what's this card? This just fell. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Oh yeah, this person's coming in with the full nine yards for marriage and wedding. You know what? Um, I see a lot of, I see communication, definitely. I see a lot of talking, a lot of, but it feels very, and I have to keep it real here, it feels very salesman-ish. You know, like, or also someone like, a, um, you know, an auctioneer, they stand up there, hey, blah, 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 blah. this person's like, blah, 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 and you, you're like, what the heck's going on? Like, what do you, like, they, it's surprising. It feels very surprising. But what they're saying is they want to get back together. Don't leave. They're going to marry you. They want to hold on to you. They're, they're going to, like, make some kind of a proposal to you. It's almost like extreme excitement. Very assertive with this energy. <laughs> I mean, Listen, Virgo, this person's coming in with like a sincere offer with the Six of Cups. It really feels to me like, because you did the shake, rattle, and roll right out the door. And you're like, talk to my ass as I'm leaving. And that's hot. That This person's like completely, they're very turned on. They want to like, they want to open up, spend time with you. I definitely feel it. So, all right, let's go into a little clarification here because we got to go in a little deeper, you guys. We got to go a little deeper. Okay, Knight of Swords. Okay, We've got somebody, they're coming in real stable though. The King of Pentacles, Pentacles energy, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy. This person's coming in <clears throat> like as a good proof. They want to provide financially, they want to give to you. Okay. They want to come in and, and invest, definitely. I mean, all this communication coming from them. You know, I want to get back together. Let's, you know, let's get married. I want to marry you. I want to be with you. I want to be in a full-on commitment, exclusive, just me and you, nobody else. I see things differently. I have a new perspective on things. Don't leave. Virgo, don't leave. Don't leave me out here. <laughs> My uh, spirit guides are arguing over what song to give you here. I heard, um, don't let me down. I don't know what that's from. I don't know who that's from. 
don't let me down. They don't want you to let them down, Virgo. Oh, yeah, they got plans. Look at this. This is a long distance relationship for some of you. Three of Wands, always that situation. This is travel. This is like expanded. Some of you might be across the water from each other. Different sides of the world. Okay. Um, yeah, this person's like looking out on the horizon. They're seeing a future with you. Because... Virgo, some of you are like, some of you are out the door, but you're still kind of looking back. Look, don't tell me I'm, don't tell me what I'm seeing here. <laughs> Just <laughs> who am I being, right? Some of you, like your feet are like these, you're walking your boots. You got your boots on. These boots are made for walking, but you are still kind of looking back a little just to see if they're watching, if they're checking. Some of you still checking your text messages. You're still checking on social media because this is the World Wide Web here. Some of you are like, come on. Come on now. You don't want to really go, but you know you got to go, but you don't really want to go. And you would like it if things were different, you know. And I kind of feel like they know. They know that you're going. They know, or that you're gone. They don't know that you're still watching them, or you're still seeking them out, or looking at them a little bit here and there. You know, everyone. You know, some of you are, haven't done it in a while, but every once in a while, I go back and go, "Hmm, what's so and so been up to? Hmm, I wonder if they're still with that per other person. Hmm, wonder if I can catch them online or see if they've posted anything. Oh, oh, wait, my person's not online. They got off. So, all right, let me see." Um, let me ask some friends about them. Um, let me see if I could see if there's anything on the work website where they work. Is anything posting on there? Maybe they got a promotion. Let me see if something's showing up there. You know, I'm going to drive past where they work. Hey, come on, you guys. Because when you are like, you know, a lot of you, your person pulled the brine laundry, just disappeared out into the freaking wilderness, who knows? And some of you are like, where are that MF are at? Where'd they go? <laughs> some of you are still looking, you know, but a lot of you are just kind of like, meh, I'm gonna take one more look and then I'm gonna keep moving because this isn't happening here. And that's fine, do what you gotta do. But the death card is here, okay? The death card is here, so definitely an ending and a new beginning. I'm going to start saying the word definitely instead of with an F. I'll use a TH. This is definitely happening here with this person. They want to get to know you again or, you know, you guys were at a point where you, you like you talked, you met, you communicated, you knew things about each other. But there was still a lot more that you didn't know about each other. There was still a lot, a lot left unresolved or not revealed. And I feel like this person, they're ready to open up and tell you more share more with you i just want to get a card for the six of cups here oh my gosh you can't make this up you guys you cannot make this up so here they come this ace of cups is a blessing some of you listen i just get this sense right some of you were all like all right well let me let me just play this right a little bit yeah i still love my person yeah i want to be with them but they're not giving me anything so let me just work a straight that I'm gonna leave. And just so I just wanna see what they do. Let me just do the no contact thing, but I'll just kind of peek on them or check on them and see if there's any signs. Let me just let me just make it look like I'm really leaving, but I'm really just looking back to see if they're watching me leave. Some of you are just like, how you like my ass? You don't really so <laughs> I just feel like some of you are like, well, okay, this is how it, this is what you're bringing me to. This is what it's come to. This is what I'm going to have to do. All right, we'll see who's going to play this game right. <laughs> and they know, look, look, <laughs> I love these cards, right? Uh, there's your person right here. And there's you. You see my ass as I'm walking away? And, and your person's like, mm hmm. Yeah, I see you. And they're kind of pissed off. Because they feel like, what are you doing, Virgo? You know? They're kind of like, look at his face. 
hear her is kind of like, you know, pissed off a little bit here. Because Virgo's like, la-da-da, watch my ass as I leave. And you're looking back to see if they're watching. And they are. Look at you. You know that they are. You know that this person's watching. Some of you don't even care. But look, they're coming in with this page of wands. They're coming in with this. Can we talk? Um, you look mighty fine. You know, that little, that little, uh, that little rump shake you got going on there as you're walking out the door, shaking it for me. You look pretty good. Your butt looks great as you're walking away. Hey, can we talk? <laughs> you listen, this person's coming in like a, like a teenager, a teenage boy who's like been called up to the blackboard to, uh, or the whiteboard. I don't know what they have now. And he can't get up because he's got a boing in his pants. You know, this is this card here. So if you're dealing with a male, this is your your male. It's definitely th like this. If you're dealing with somebody else, you know, another, the, a different opposite gender or whatever, a female. Okay, let's say divine and divine masculine and feminine. You're dealing with a feminine. Um, she's like trying to contain herself because she wants to hold it. <laughs> she wants to touch it. She's missing that. It's... The, I'm just feeling an energy of your person is kind of getting turned on. Some of you are on. Uh, they just keep bringing me back to this card. Some of you on the internet, and you're you're purposely posting pictures of yourself. Now listen, I don't always think that that's the best idea because it really just depends on the type of person that you're that you are dealing with. You know, you could have like super alpha type people who are very competitive and they see that and then they get fired up to come after you. And then you could have like super beta types who are very insecure and they're like, I'm never going to have that. And they don't initiate. So I think you got to be real mindful when you're doing something like that because, you know, it's not, not everyone should be put in a general category. You know, everybody's everybody's a little bit differently. So if you're on there shaking your butt on the on social media and you're really putting it out there, that person that you're dealing with who is kind of an alpha type, competitive and a conqueror, is definitely going to see that and come running back. But if you're dealing with someone who is a, quite insecure, um, the, the, to them, they're just going to see you and say, well... She looks, he or she looks like they're having their time of their life and they don't need me, so I'm not going to do anything, right? So I don't know exactly who you're dealing with, what kind of person you're dealing with here, but I can say that there's definitely going to be communication about... <laughs> I feel... If you were dealing with someone who's alpha, everything that I was saying, they're coming in like super fast. If you're dealing with someone who's really not like that, but you weren't posting stuff online or really, you know, I feel like just the fact that you're pulling away a bit and still, but still keeping tabs, they can pick that up. I don't know if they're very intuitive, but they can kind of pick that up that you haven't fully left or they're still hoping. And so they will try to come back in here. All right. Show me the death the death card. Oh, death card. This person's coming out of hiding. If they were in isolation or not communicating with you or not talking to you, um, or you guys were just not talking to each other, there was a blocked energy. Oh, wow. They're coming out of that. That hermit energy is very like withdrawn. They're coming out of hiding to talk to you. They want to talk to you. They want to reveal, reveal, tell you some stuff. Let's take a look here. It's not just the physical, but the, for some, it's just this person. It feels like they have they have such a thing for you. They're so attracted to you. They're so very drawn to you and it, just to you. There's something about you here, Virgo. Let me see. Nine of Wands. Yes, the shadow, addicted, obsessive. This could be sexual obsession. This person wants to like get down and dirty with you. Um, they're very like greedy, just sexual lust. <laughs> I mean, is it more? Could it be? I mean, the Ace of Cups is here. So I do feel like it's a blessed union, but you know, 
if you you and your person separated, you guys away from each other, like that right now is really what they're missing. They can't imagine somebody else having their hands on you. They can't imagine someone else kissing you or touching you like it kills them to think about it you know it's one thing when like if you've, if you've got a person who's talking to somebody else but if they're actually touching and there's this person is so i don't know for some it feels like it's turning them on the thought of that that other people want you and for other but at the same time i feel they're angry are they going to be very persistent in coming towards you because it's like a challenge you must be dealing with a very alpha type of a person male or female so yeah they're coming in to reveal some stuff to you tighten this tighten your bond let me see here oh my gosh they're spying on you totally i feel like a little bit of this is yesterday's reading this person Oh my gosh, they want to know, oh, getting to know each other. They want to know if you're talking to somebody else, if you're getting to know other people, another person, and it's turning them on. Oh my gosh. Drama. There's so much drama it's reading already. What the? There's so much drama. Sorry, guys. My throat is, I mean, my mouth is dry because I had a salty lunch today. And I'm like, it's killing me. Um, this person is spying and wanting to know if you are talking to others, other males, other females, if you have your options open, if you're not wasting time with them anymore. It's pissing them off, yet it's turning them on at the same time. Psycho. You have a psycho. You have a psycho, Virgo. You have a psychopath. A psychopath. Some of you are kind of like, yeah, I know. I know my person's a psycho. I know my person's a narcissist. I don't give a shit. I'm just like, I'm leaving, but I'm going to make sure that they make sure that they see me leaving and see how good I look walking out that door. <laughs> so much drama. Oh my God. Virgo's episode 2222. Virgo's it's like this is like a crime scene this is like forensic files here you're leaving crumbs you're leaving crumbs of uh, breadcrumb trails for this person to pick up and chase and come after you some of you don't even know you're doing it you're like i don't care those of you who are doing it on purpose i don't care i'm doing me i don't care you do whatever you want i'm a superstar a superstar <laughs> all right oh i forgot my music Darn it, I set it up and everything. And then I forgot to turn it on. Okay, remind me to do it tomorrow. All right, three of cups, okay. Yeah, so this person definitely wants to have a celebratory connection with you, for sure. They definitely want a reunion. Oh my gosh. Threes are always about expansion. Threes are always about union. I know um, twos, twos are more about duality and partnership, but threes are more about coming into union together, coming together. I feel like this person is 100%. They're looking at you like you've got this queen of wands. They're looking at you like you're extremely passionate. You know, like you are very passionate. Uh, feisty but this person is now as well they're showing up here in this energy male or female as being like very self-assured and confident um but they're i feel like they're projecting that onto you because that's how they're feeling about you they want you to be in this energy with them the queen of wands is extremely passionate she doesn't think he or she she doesn't think about things she doesn't over talk she does but she's mostly in movement and she's mostly on fire. Let me see. For some of you, this, this queen of wands, either you have a black cat or this person has a black cat. Okay, five of swords energy. See, ace of wands sitting on the queen of wands. This person is coming in, male or female. Okay, I just heard. 
If it's a female, she's going to peg you. <laughs> she wants to peg you. <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of pegging going on here. Okay. Donna, I don't know what I don't know what spirit cat is here with me tonight, but I'd say she's pretty like nasty McNasty, whoever she is, if she's here. And, you know, if it's or if this person wants to be pegged, it's one or the other. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. This person is cutting out anybody else that they've been with. Point blank, period. They are like, oh, all those other males and females, whoever they made you think that they were with, because for some, they kind of just fronted that they were with these other people, and I don't really feel like they were. But even if they were, or they were just keeping, like spreading themselves thin and dating around and just socializing and, you know, partying a lot or just whatever, I feel like this person, your person is coming in with this five of swords now where they're just like, those relationships were abusive. I don't, I'm, you know, or the past relationships were abusive. I'm done with that. I'm tired of being bullied. I'm, I'm just like, I'm cutting those people off. I'm bullying all those other people out of my life. Um, sisters, brothers, family members, other people that are going to put like um, blocks and um, make it real difficult for us to be together. This is what I feel like this person, this is a converse, this is a phone call. Okay, this is a phone call. First, it's going to be a text message. Then it's going to be a phone call. And it's going to be like very sexual phone call, or very intimate, like talking about how they miss this physical stuff with you. And I don't care if you haven't had some of you. Listen, for some of you, this was a physical online thing. Like you guys were sexting or you were like having virtual intimacy for whatever reason. Some of you just weren't able because of COVID. You couldn't have that together. Um but I feel like a lot of you just kind of gave off the impression that you just were like, this isn't, this did, this did me well for a while and it's really not working anymore and this person doesn't want anything else. And I'm getting kind of, I don't really feel like bored with it. You had six of cups in the past here, but I feel like a lot of you are just kind of like, this is not, I'm being naive. I have unrealistic expectations that this situation is going to go anywhere because it's just mostly been about, you know, like the physical thing, or at least it felt that way. But you know what? A lot of you just said, that's it. I'm done. You know, but <laughs> you can watch my naked ass walk out the door and possibly into somebody else's arms. This is turning this person on. That's all I'm saying. And now they want now they want you possessive energy jealous you're stirring something up in this person okay so the seven of wands sits here with okay no one can have virgo virgo is my wish my dream come true no other man or woman i'm gonna fight <laughs> I am going to be, I'm going to protect this connection. I don't want Virgo talking to anybody else. It feels like this person just needed something to fight for um, because a lot of you were just over giving. You were being doormats. No offense, you guys, but a lot of you were just like, here, I'm, I'm just going to, hi, I'm, I'm your new doormat. I'm just going to lay here at the bottom of your door. And anytime you're ready to come out, feel free to walk all over the, walk all over me. I'm just going to be your, I'm your welcome and I'm your goodbye. I'm always going to be here. And your person will open the door and just be like, oh, the doormat's there. No offense. Don't, don't take it personally, but let's keep it real here. We're on the Virgo channel, right? Some of you, I don't know who, but some of you were just like, I'll take care of you forever and ever and ever, and I'll do everything. Like, I don't know. Some of you needed to listen. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to speak to my ladies here. Okay. And I want to keep it real. Now, I know we're on tarot here. And um, I know we, we're talking about spiritual enlightenment and all this beautiful stuff. And that's great. And we all get it. We're all there. And we all get messages and spiritual downloads. And we got our third eyes going. And our chakras are aligned. And right, we have all that stuff going. But listen, some of you need to go and turn on the movie Grease 
And some of you need to get yourselves into sandy mode after she got on her leather spandex pants and did up her hair and started showing who she is and who the fuck she is. Not in a, not in a narcissistic way, but in a in power up way because Sandy before she was the nice girl. She wasn't a challenge. She was so easily hurt. And then the Sandy afterward was like, tell me about it, stud. I don't need you. <laughs> so listen, that's just a little spin. That's just a little something for the ladies here. You need to go get your uh, Sandy costume on for Halloween and start getting into that energy. And she wasn't mean. They were all going together like Rama Lama Lama and dippity doo da da. So she wasn't mean. She was loving and caring. She was doing her thing. But she wasn't going to get pushed around. Some of you are already there. Good for you. I'm proud of you. And for the guys, well, okay, same thing. You need to get your motorcycle jackets on, I guess, and I don't know, put a little, uh, Oil cream in your hair. I don't know. Do what you got to do. I don't know what. I don't. I don't. I didn't watch guy movies. The, the masculine. So I don't. I don't really know what the guys will do. But I'm sure you can figure it out. Just don't be a doormat. Yeah, you need to be. Um, oh, <laughs> Johnny Depp. <laughs> Get on your Johnny Depp, you guys. All right. Let me see here. Let's see what your your moon pie messages are. You better shape up, cause I need a man. And my heart is set on you. You better shape up. You better understand. To my heart, I must be true. Nothing left for me to do. You're the one that I want. All right, let's see. Alone is offered. Oh, this is a message for somebody. Some of you are getting... Did you apply for a loan? You get some money or something coming in? Some of you are getting some money here. You're getting an offer for a loan. Like you're already approved. It's not a pre-approval. I don't know who needs to know this, but it's not a pre-approval. You're definitely approved. Okay. Oh my gosh. You're getting two. <laughs> Look at this. Baby, I want to loan you my love for the night. <laughs> You're getting a love offer as well. I told you this person's coming in. I don't care, male or female, masculine or feminine. I don't care. I want to be with you. No one else can have you. I want you all to myself. I want to marry you. You're turning this person into the doormat. And it's not a spite. I don't really feel like it is. I feel like some of you, it's just like you pull the sandy. You build a sandy, okay? So you're getting money and you're getting love. Uh, some of you, this is a king of wands, okay? Male, dynamic, fiery male, mature, okay? This is this is uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you, that's who this is coming in or, or just Mars energy. Um, and for the males, this is you. This is why you're getting this loan and this is why you're getting this love offer. Because you're looking mighty hot right now. You are looking fine. You are looking dynamite. You are looking dynamite. <laughs> fiery. You're fiery. All right, let me see. Keep looking dynamite. Keep doing you. Oh, God. You know, I made these cards and I'm like, I, I wrote these real long ones. And um, I'm just going to take one pit, one part. Um, you need a recharge. That's what I'm going to tell you. Your battery's low, you guys and girls. Your batteries are low, and you need to plug in and get that recharge. And that means get that new loan. That means recharge your body, recharge your spirit, recharge your mind, recharge your physical, like your your emotional, everything. You need a power up. Like in a game, you need to level up. Don't be laying there every night wondering about your, your ex person or whatever. Oh, they're going to come back. No, you need to be focusing on you and focusing on your level up. 
getting yourself, getting your your body right, getting your 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 mind right, getting yourself straight. No, no sitting around eating pizza every single day. You need to eat healthy, be healthy, be strong, take care of yourself, and start leveling up in all those areas of your life and, and get out of that pity pot for those of you who are in it. Because that's going to lead you into depression. And then your person, if they see you, they're going to be like, that's what happened to you? That's what happened? That's what you did? And they're not going to want to come back. Even if, whether you want them back or not. Some of you do. Some of you who don't, you should still be leveling up. Okay? Go into your cave for a while. Go in. Start building in silence for a little while. You can go in the quiet, but don't get lost in there. And get that plug in. Go plug in. Some of you need to plug in that hair dryer and start straightening your hair and start doing that every day. Some of you need to, to um, start plugging in your, um, your curling irons. <clears throat> Some of you need to start plugging in that wax machine that you have. And get those legs done, for God's sake. Shave. And some of you guys, too. You need to stop, you know, like trim those beards. Get that hair fixed. Get that hair done. Start, like, making yourself look good. Because you'll feel better about yourself. You will feel better. That's part of your level up. Don't be on those dating sites with your picture um, there. As your profile picture and but it's like all you can see is up your freaking nose right you, nice go get a nice professional photo done if you're looking for new love or you're just doing a level up even if you're not looking for new love go get some professional photographer put out a little bit of money and go give yourself a treat you got one life it's all about you boo Test of faith, boundaries, see? You're being tested right now. That is 100, some of you, I don't know who, somebody, you guys are being tested right now. Somebody is definitely watching you walk out the door, but I'm telling you, this person's going to show up at your door or you're going to get a call and you better be ready. You better be ready and a thousand times up that ladder than where you were before. Not in that same place. Don't be in that same place when somebody comes back into your life because they miss you. You need to be so far up above them since that breakup or that split that they're going to have to climb up that fucking ladder just to get to you because that's how much you're worth it. Maybe you didn't have your self-worth before. Maybe that relationship you were in brought down your sense of self but now you've been alone or you're working on being on your own, it's time for you to start giving to you and working on you and putting a plan in place and getting into your routine every day at the same time. Go work out on that treadmill. Go to the gym every day at the same time. Make sure you have your lunch, your dinner, whatever you're eating healthy. Make your plans. Be consistent. Stay doing the same things every single day because it doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. It builds up. It's perseverance. That's how change happens. It's slow. It's never overnight. Good news about money. <laughs> A lot of Virgos are like, okay, wait. Cal gave us the loans coming in. We got money coming in. We're looking good. Oh, and there's a love offer too. Okay, maybe we'll see. <laughs> Direct honest female. Okay, for some of you, that's you. And for others, you got an air sign coming in. Okay, there's a, there's a, um, a female air sign coming in. Coming in to give you the truth. For some of you, this is me right here. Even though I'm Virgo, um, the Queen of Swords can be air, or can be Virgo. Okay, some of you are just getting truthful with yourselves. Okay, or it could be a friend, a sister, a mother. For others, it could be a father, a brother, a male friend, giving you like inspiring you. All right, that's what they're just saying. For the females, you got a male coming in who's inspiring you. 
who's going to lead the way for you during this time period, whatever you have going on. And for the males, you got a female coming in and giving you the absolute truth about what you need to be doing and what, what you need to not be doing anymore. And for others, these are lovers. Okay. Endure and be patient. Remember I said endurance. you got to keep at it. Stay persistent. And a message from an admirer. I told you this is going to be the topic here. Because this is what this is what's coming in. Now for some, this is a past person. For others, this is just someone coming in who is has been watching you walk out the door and shaking that sexy ass of yours and they haven't asked you out yet. And I'm telling you now, you better be ready. Get yourself ready. Get off that social media. Stop looking at your phone. Stop paying attention to that chick that, that got your guys with. Stop paying attention to that guy. Um that your chicks with and redirect your energy back into yourself and get yourself in a good place. Don't, like I said, don't be on those dating sites with like freaking, I don't know, pizza juice down your shirt. Level up because it's coming. It's coming. You want to be ready for this. You don't want somebody to be catching you, you know, walking your dog and you know, you got shit stains on your ass. No more, no more of that. I don't know who I'm talking to over then. <laughs> it's freaking gross. <laughs> it better not be anybody in my channel. <laughs> well, I have to stop doing tarot. I mean, I just think it's getting to that point now. I really gotta stop. <laughs> Uh, we'll be here all day, folks. I'm, I'm here every day. I'm here every night. It's coming. I guess you want to know what I put away. All right, I'm going to tell you. Uh, all right, you're not, because you're tired of hearing this, okay? So I'm going to tell you what I, I saw this and I put it back under and I said, no, I'm not going to tell. But you know what? I, I think spirit's coming in. My God, to like, tell them again. Tell them again, Sam. Self, take a look at yourself. Add up the pros and cons of you. Balance things out. Reconcile yourself to accepting you just as you are, as well as those in your heart. Acceptance is key. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat others up. Live and let live. And let live. But don't accept any less. Expect the best from yourself and accept that. Don't accept what the media tells you. Don't expect what the narrative is. Um, or don't accept what the narrative is going. Only accept the best from yourself. Don't compete with anybody. Do you? Okay. But you definitely are going to be in a committed, uh, committed love relationship with someone by December. I'm picking up December. And for some of you, I was saying December 6th. Okay. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control, cause the power you're supplying, it's electrifying. That's so what you guys gotta get your, see, power out, I'm telling you. Okay, release, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So I feel like some of you need to like, just take a break from that person. Stop looking to see if they're looking. Just move on and get yourself together. Please. Friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Okay. This could be a friend. Like I said, for some of you, this could be a friend or somebody that you know who's been watching you leave work and watching your... I'm telling you, you might have even caught them. For some of you, I just heard it's your priest. What the... All right enough i think i have some jokester angel guys as well here um they're like little crazy little children monkeys sometimes the things that they say um but i feel like if it's somebody at your work you just work with them you're just friends every time you leave they're looking at your butt every time you leave some of you don't even know you turned around i'm gonna show <laughs> you turned around or you caught him in the mirror And look at them. They're like, look at that ass shake. Wow. What a great butt. <laughs> Some of you caught them. <laughs> I'm telling you, this person's super, super into you, whoever they are. All right. Let's see what else. 
denial, detach with love to clearly see the truth. And the truth is, what is the truth, Spirit? What's the truth? Huh. Okay, for some of you, the truth is you're dealing with a real nasty ass. For some of you, <laughs> you need to level up and get yourself in a really good place because you got somebody new coming in and be ready. Um, for some of you, you've been in denial, the emperor in the reverse, that you were dealing with someone who had a big nasty ego, was very immature, or it had like power moves, took power plays, control, not a good planner. The emperor in the reverse is a narcissist. So some of you need to like, mm -mm. I'm not staying down here like that doormat. This person put me, laid me out in front of their door. I'm not doing that no more. Uh-uh. Pulling that doormat out, getting my car, and I'm going, taking care of business here and leveling up. Listen, you guys, you don't have to be a victim. You can choose not to be, you know? You can make that decision. You have free will. You don't have to sit here and decide whether or not it's a bad decision or not. If you're not happy, then you got to go. And don't doubt yourself. If you're not happy in a relationship with someone, you, you should always, when you're with someone, every time you walk away from them, you should always be feeling better about yourself, not worse. If you feel worse about yourself when you're leaving this, walking away from somebody after a lunch date or something, or you just, you're just you catching those vibes and something doesn't feel right, stop wasting all your time trying to analyze it or figure out what it is. The answer is, it's time to go. Because when your brain can't figure it out, your body's going to tell you. So some of you need to detach, <clears throat> not fight with this, this nasty ass, detach from this person in a loving way, like, yeah, thanks, I'm busy right now, that kind of thing, like, you know, not mean, and then take a look at the truth of what your situation is. And that's not for all of you, but I feel like that's a special message here for somebody. Stability. Okay, this relationship can stand the test of time. Okay. And more importantly, Virgo, your relationship with yourself can stand the test of time. That's the first relationship you need to have before any other relationships you have with anybody. You have to have this first. You nasty ass, you. Someone is secretly longing for you, Virgo. I'm telling you. Mm -mm -mm. What I say? Dang. <laughs> what did I say? You know, I was just looking at these cards. Okay, I'm done with these. I just, I did see the addiction card, and I do have the devil here, so I do feel like that's symbolic. I gotta say that. All right, let's see here. You're getting definitely a, a text message at first from an admirer. I said that in the beginning. Beginning with uh, this person is just like oh, either. It, so some of you have already started to level up, and you're like, I'm doing me, and look at me. Look how good I look. Look how great I'm doing. Some of you are doing that, and let's all give them a, a round of applause for that. And for those of you who are just on your way to that, keep going. If you haven't started, get your ass in gear and start making a plan. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how old you are. Listen, I'm 52. I go out. I run every day. I take care of myself. I do the things I need to do for myself. Me first, then everybody next. I raised my sons. You know what I mean? And uh, sure, we can love who we want to love. But I'm telling you what, if you're not loving yourself first, how can you have any love for anybody else? And if, you, if you're loving somebody else and you're not loving yourself, you're not giving yourself any love. Like if you're loving too much is what I'm saying. If you're over giving too much. <clears throat> you guys, listen. This Virgo here, when you're with someone, you got to be more like, you know, in your everyday life. I'm not talking about with your kids. I'm not talking about with like people who are very, very, like you unconditionally love. I'm talking about other people in life. It's got to be it's got to be um, one for you to your person. You get one, I get two. You get two, 
I get four. That's how it's got to be. You got to give more to you than you got to be given to other people. Boundaries. Putting yourself first. I'm not talking about your kids because you love your kids and your, you know, your family members that you're very, very close with that, that you love unconditionally. It's not a one size fits all. All right, let's see. You can't be a people pleaser. And not many Virgos are, but some might have a tendency. Um, maybe if you got like um, Taurus or Libra and Venus somewhere, you might have a tendency for that. Don't be a people pleaser. Don't be an ass kisser. Do not kiss ass. People can spot that a mile, a mile away and then they don't respect you for it. Okay, full moon in Cancer, a personal issue reaches resolution. This is awesome. This is an emotional thing. A personal issue that you are having right now, Virgo, will come to a resolution. There will be a resolution to this. So don't worry about this. Whatever it is, something happened. I don't know exactly when. Something occurred. Maybe it was an argument or there's like this continuous fight or this thing that occurred at some point prior to this spirit wants you to know don't sweat the small stuff don't worry there will be resolution just just let universe take care of it let the universe sort this out okay especially for moon and cancer okay moon and virgo it's a time to give rather than take <laughs> listen you guys you might think I'm contradicting myself, but I'm not. This is to give to you. Stop taking from others to give to yourself. Just start taking and giving to yourself, right? So in other words, it's not taking from others to give to yourself, but it's like stop depending on others so that you can be happy. Some of you are like, okay, well, if my person's happy, then that must mean they're happy with me. Therefore, I'll be happy. No, 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 no. Virgo got to wake up in the morning and say, hmm, what's going to make Virgo happy today? Before Virgo even talks or sees anybody. And that's like the first thing you got to do when you wake up in the morning. You got to set the tone for your day. Don't just jump out of bed and go into your day willy-nilly with no plan. You got to like have that talk with spirit and set the tone and say to yourself you know first of all the best practice get up in the morning and make your bed first thing that's the first thing you should do if you're not doing that because that's a form of self-care that's you first thing in the morning saying i'm making my bed because i like the way my bed looks that's the first thing i'm doing for myself because that's that's an act that you're taking towards yourself that's deliberate and that set your tone set the whole tone for your day just make your bed every morning there you go that's all you need to do and watch Watch how different your day is after you've made your bed first thing in the morning. Just watch. <laughs> okay. Step out of your comfort zone, Virgo. All right. This here, you guys, I don't care if you're males and I'm talking about grease. It, it applies. This here is your, this is your sandy, get your sandy on. Mm -mm. Step out of your comfort zone. Do something radical. Do something different for your power up, for your level up. Some of you might be sitting behind a sewing machine and you do crafts. And what do you got to do now? What's your level up? What's your power up? You got to enter a bodybuilding competition, right? I know I always go back to the gym. Some of you, um, some of you sing in the church choir and on Friday nights you got to go into one of those those dark speakeasies in your slanky dress and start singing to the, 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 the smoky crowd. You know, you got to contrast things in your life and you can do that, okay? Some of you, you know, are, um, I'm just hearing, they're giving me this image or like, I don't know, you're just, some of you are just spending all your time planting flowers and you need to go get and join that roller derby team. You got to do something, shake yourself up, do something different. Okay.
some of you guys I just heard are like out there walking your little doggies and y'all need to sign up for the um, MMA gym or the UFC. You got to get into like some fighting. I don't know what that's a wrestling. I don't know. I don't know. What, what are they talking about? Your hard work is paying off. This will pay off. I'm telling you, this is what's going on. Moon and Capricorn. This North Node here is representative of what needs, why, what areas of your life where you need to start leading. Okay. Which is by stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something you're not used to doing and others aren't expecting from you. It's all about you challenging yourself. I was giving you examples of what I was picking up here, but it's all about the challenges you need to make. Your hard work is paying. It will pay off moon and Capricorn. Oh boy. Will it ever. All right. Let's get, let's get some advice, more advice. Like Virgo needs more advice. Oh, and then I'm going to add a special treat after this before I do your charms, which will probably get me demonetized, but yeah, maybe I won't do it. Yeah, I'll save it for the, um, when you guys join up, when you join my membership, my triple X membership here on House of Virgo, I'm telling you, it's going to so be worth it because we're going to get wild and radical and crazy in there and it's all private. And no one else is going to be able to be in there unless they pay a monthly, $9.99 a month to join. Okay, because it's going to be like no holds barred. You know, you might think that I'm holding back here in these readings. Uh, I won't, this is nothing. This is, this is nothing. Once we get in there, it's a free for all. All right, let's see. Margo's advice. So that'll be at the end. That'll be like, I think after uh, uh, Halloween, I'll be starting that going into November. Okay, you have the eight of cups and need to move on. Some of you, some of you need to seek more from life than what you're experiencing. Okay, some of you are choosing to make big life changes. Get on it. Change your priorities. Some of you may be needing to move home. Get to it. Okay, wow. You have release. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back and make that transformation in your life. I was just talking about that. And interestingly enough, that's the death card. Rebirth. Some of you need to be born again. You need to get born again. Transform things. To move on. Make big changes in your life. Be ready. Make sure you're ready. Be, be at your absolute best when this person comes in. Whatever your best is for you, be at it. Everybody's best is different. I'm just using examples. You know what your best is. Get back to being your best. All right. Wow, four of fire. There's going to be a lot to celebrate here for you, Virgo. Send your gratitude. You know, every day I wake up, every single day, I thank Spirit, I thank Higher Power for all that He's been giving me. Every single day. There's times where I even just shed a little bit of tear because I'm so grateful to all the things that He's been providing for me this past year. Just, I just seek to find things to be grateful for. I just always do because there's peace and prosperity coming to you, Virgo. There's, I see a lot of good things coming to happen for you here and you're making huge changes in your life and I'm so proud of you, but even peace and contentment in your personal life. And also this is the commitment card in marriage. You need to know and spirits telling me to tell you, you are worth it. You are worth this. You are worth having a loving relationship, a loving partnership with someone, 100%. Even if you don't, even if you don't get yourself to your absolute best and you meet someone who does not accept any of that, that's not your person. Okay. Um, because it's all about the effort and the work that you're putting in. 
You don't have to be perfect. Just be on the path of progress. If you're on the path of progress and somebody comes in and says, no, that's not good enough. I'm going to wait till you're at your best. You dumb. Hit the road, toad. And don't you come back. These boots are walking. I'm out. Keep it moving. All right. Charm time. Let's get the charms. Oh, okay. They give you one. The first charm that's coming out, okay, is a book. Okay. I should have called my channel the Book of Virgo because that's what this is. All about Virgo. Um, so for some of you, you need to get back to reading your Bible, reading some scripture, get your power up there through higher source. Um, I, I do that all the time, and I think that's awesome, and it's a great thing, but that's me personally. Or whatever it is that you read, you could read self-help books. Some of you have a book that kind of gives you like um, the path to success. I mean, I don't know, it could be Tony Robbins, it could be whomever, somebody's got a book out that just kind of or something that you read, maybe you read an article or there's somewhere, a site or something that gives you kind of like an idea of how to do something. Some of you are writers or um, maybe you, you're a, a blogger or you do something like that. There's something to do here with that. So if that's something you're currently doing, this is your message. For others, this may mean that this is something radical that you need to get into or for some finish something that you've been writing. Um, for others, get back into your journaling, write in your journal, okay? Um, some, some of you might be, I mean, I can't imagine you'd be reading a book and listening to this because I don't know how you'd be able to concentrate on two things at the same time. Maybe there's people out there that can do it. I'm not that person. But you might be flipping through a magazine or looking at pictures right now. Okay. Oh, I'm not taking that. Sorry. Because I think that was a joke. Okay. Oh, shit. This is so perfect for Halloween's coming in. The bat. <laughs> Who here likes Batman or Batgirl? All right. Maybe that's a costume. You're going to be like a bat for Halloween or some people don't celebrate Halloween. Don't post in the comment. I don't celebrate the Halloween. I don't give a shit. I'm not talking to you. If you don't celebrate Halloween, then th that's not your message. So leave it alone. But the bat here is basically like... Oh, I just, yeah. Hmm. I just saw like a, um, sar Master Sergeant, Sergeant Master. My kids used to play this game when they were little called Halo. Sergeant Master. I don't know if that game is still around. And I saw like night goggles or night vision. <laughs> I don't ask me why I saw that from this. I have no idea. I mean, obviously the bat is night vision, but I don't know why I'm seeing that video game or something military or something whatever that is it's not even military it's just a video game but whatever um oh and then they're just saying um tell virgo to uh follow their senses let their senses lead them in the way they need to go let their senses tell them like you know like a cadaver sniffing dog. You need to sniff out them dead people and so that you can <laughs> do, 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 do. You need to sniff out, let your senses leave you, lead you, lead you. Okay, so now we got the train. Some of you getting on the hoe train. I don't know what's going on here with the train. There might be travel. Oh, and then I just saw the guy's face from the group, the band Train. Do you remember them? I don't even know if they're even around anymore. I don't even remember the songs that they sang. Oh, something to do with Pluto or the stars or Jupiter? Jupiter is some Jupiter song. I don't know if somebody liked that song. Jupiter drops or something. Jup drops, she's like drops of Jupiter. I don't know. Did we come out retrograde? Jupiter, was Jupiter retrograde? Did we come out of that now? Is that what I said or was that Saturn? I think it was like a whole bunch of planets. Something about Jupiter. 
retrograde in that song. I don't know. I'm not, they're not, I can't decode it. I'm just transmitting messages. I can't decode it. You decode it. How about that? Okay, let's see. All right. So we've got high heels. Okay. So for the guys, out, step out of your comfort zone. Do something different. Go get your high heels on. Go embrace your inner divine feminine self. It's time. Go try on a pair of high heels and see how you do. That would be a good exercise for you guys, walking around in those stilettos. Um, and some of you ladies, you need to get back. You need to get these back on. Okay. I don't even care if you don't want to go out in them. You don't have to. Put them on during the day and walk around the house in them if you're home or on your day off and get those legs straight, like built up, get those muscles built up. Some of you might be buying new shoes. You're looking for a pair of shoes or you wear these beautiful high heeled um, man killers. Maybe you're going to start wearing them again or you, somebody also collects these in the miniature form. I don't know if you've seen them. There's, um, I don't know if she still makes them. It's called um, Shoes by Rain. And she makes these beautiful miniature shoes that you can collect. And they're about like that big. And they're gorgeous. Oh my God, some of the stuff. She used to make them. I used to collect them years ago. I don't collect them anymore. But I don't know if she still makes them anymore. If they're still, I don't, I gotta find them. Because there were some hot ass shoes on there. They were just collectors, collector stuff. All right, so let's spirit pick one for you. Okay. Well, you have a wine glass, okay? So maybe you're sipping wine right now as you're listening, or some of you are um, going to be going out and having drinks very soon. I'm hearing the next time you go out, if you drink, I don't drink, like, I mean, once in a while, I'll have like a, a little peachy some, but the next time you go out, if you order drinks or something, spirit saying order something that you have never, ever had before. It's very, very, because you're stepping out of your comfort zone with a lot of things. Start trying new things, have orders, look at the menu and go in the absolute opposite direction of what you would normally choose. Don't pick something that will resonate with you because, oh, it's a strawberry drink, so it's like strawberries, but it's a different brand. No, they're saying do something completely different, something that your intuition, not your intuition, something that your comfort zone says, yeah, yeah, pick that. That's old. You don't want that. You want to get something completely different. Eat something completely different when you go out. Order something that you know that you will not like or that you know that you can't stand or that you know is not going to be a comfort food for you <clears throat> or a comfort drink do something completely different there's a lesson in there for you with that okay and then you have a message okay namaste so i don't know i know you can't see it i don't know if somebody says that maybe you say that there's a message there for you Maybe you bought, somebody bought like a board or a piece of wood or something that says namaste on it. And then you've got, you know, the white shirt with the heart again. Okay. And for some of you, I feel like you got to start wearing your heart out here when it comes to your passions and your drive about the things you want. Stop hiding your heart about, the, about your passions and your dreams and the things that you want in life. Stop hiding yourself and start going after things. And do, do things like completely different. That, those are the messages I'm getting for you guys. So I'm going to leave this here because this went on a little bit longer than normal, but that's okay. Um, please do hit the like button if you've been watching the video, if you enjoy the readings. And yeah, I will let you guys know at the end of October, going into, I guess, probably the start of November, I'll open up the Triple um, X membership thing <laughs> i'm calling it triple x because listen you guys need to know like if you're if you can't handle it don't join because it's not going to be like cute little readings it's going to be like this times twenty thousand, <laughs> right so it's going to be hardcore it's going to be like 
in your face. It's going to be rebellious. It's going to be completely contrasting to whatever you've seen on YouTube and all the stuff that goes on. It's just going to be like down to earth, very, um, very sexy, a lot of fun, but it's going to be tarot readings and messages and all that stuff going on. So join the tribe, join my tribe. It's going to be super awesome. All right, you guys. So I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you to all the mob mods. I can't even talk for um, helping out tonight and every day as you so do. And uh, yeah, you guys have a fantastic, fantastic evening, morning, day. And uh, I'll see you very soon. All right. Love you. Bye.